so in our last three lectures of the culture media we discussed different types of culture medias now it's time to discuss some special types of medias like the anaerobic culture media which is specific for the obligate anaerobic microorganisms now the special point about this anaerobic culture media is that these culture media contain the reducing substances okay we will see how these reducing substances provide the anaerobic environment for the growth or for the culturing of these obligate anaerobes some of the examples of this anaerobic culture media are the robertson cooked meat broth the thioglycolate broth the neomycin blood agar and the egg yolk agar the robertson cooked meat broth contains the finely chopped meat particles and in those meat particles we have glutathione and the unsaturated fatty acids those things those glutathione and the unsaturated fatty acids provides or act as the reducing substance for this robertson cooked meat broth while in the case of the thioglycolate broth thioglycolate itself is the reducing substance whereas in the case of the neomycin blood agar and the egg yolk agar we see that the cysteine acts as the reducing substance there are many more examples of the anaerobic culture media but we should focus on these four uh, out of which also the robertson cooked meat broth is the most commonly used and the most frequently asked anaerobic culture media so we will see about this robertson cooked meat broth even in details later on so now coming to the mechanism of action of this anaerobic culture media as a whole so we see that the anaerobic culture media contain the reducing substances different types of reducing substances we have seen like the glutathione the unsaturated fatty acids the thioglycolate cysteine vitamin c which is also called as ascorbic acid so these are the different types of uh, you know the reducing substances that we use in a media to make it a uh, obligate uh, to make it a anaerobic culture media now what does these reducing substances do we know from our previous knowledge of class 11 and 12 that the reducing substances when reduce the other substance itself gets oxidized so here also when these reducing substances reduce the other substances they themselves get oxidized and while they get oxidized they take up the o2 from that media so we know that everywhere the o2 is dissolved now so that o2 is taken up while uh, getting oxidized so the o2 level reduces okay and when the o2 level reduces then from our chemistry knowledge we also know that the redox potential also gets reduced so these two factors these two factors are the most important factors uh, you know which help in the growth of this uh, obligate anaerobes in the ob anaerobic culture media so these two things that is the reduced oxygen uh, in the uh, uh, anaerobic culture media plus the reduced redox potential in the anaerobic culture media these favor the growth of the obligate anaerobes so obligate anaerobes uh, from definition we know that these are those organisms who cannot survive even a little bit of oxygen even a little bit of oxygen is lethal to them okay so see even a little bit of o2 can kill these obligate anaerobes so we need a totally oxygen less environment for their culturing and there comes the role of the anaerobic culture media that anaerobic culture media helps in providing the total oxygen less environment for the growth of this obligate anaerobes and thereby we uh, become able to uh, produce the culture of this obligate anaerobes now coming to the robertson cooked meat broth as a special point this may be asked uh, as a short note uh, in your university exams or maybe asked in uh, microbiology vivas also like in our college in nrs mch we had uh, uh, you know uh, preparation of the robertson cooked meat broth and the teachers in vivas usually get uh, usually uh, point to that uh, cooked meat broth and uh, ask questions from that robertson cooked meat broth very uh, frequently to uh, many of the students so uh, let's talk about the robertson cooked meat broth in some detail so this is uh, anaerobic media as we all know then mechanism x action we have discussed in our previous slide or above the mechanism of action is that it is containing 
some meat particles those meat particles contain the glutathione and the free unsaturated fatty acids those two things act as the reducing substance they reduce the uh, they themselves get oxidized by taking up the o2 dissolved in that uh, you know media and thereby reduce the amount of oxygen in that media and also reduce the redox potential thereby favoring the growth of the anaerobic anaerobes now coming to the composition of the robertson cooked meat broth so the robertson cooked meat broth uh, consists of the cooked meat particles which are 2.5 cm in length see here this is 2.5 cm in length this is the cooked meat particles and these cooked meat particles are uh, made from the beef heart okay so these are made from the beef heart which are chopped finely so these finely chopped beef heart uh, uh, produce the uh, meat particles and those meat particles are used as a base into the robertson cooked meat broth above that base we have a layer of peptone infusion broth which is kept at a length of 5 cm so this yellow we, we can see is the peptone infusion broth this is 5 cm in length and above that we keep a layer of liquid paraffin of 1 cm of length 1 cm we keep a liquid paraffin layer the main role of this liquid paraffin layer is to cut off the oxygen from the environment this is to cut off the oxygen of the environment from this media so as uh, this liquid paraffin layer one centimeter layer is made over that robots and cooked media then the o2 from the environment o2 from the environment cannot reach to this cannot reach to this part of this robots and cooked media or robots and cooked broth cooked meat broth so thereby maintaining the anaerobic environment in this robertson cooked meat broth okay so that's the role of the liquid paraffin layer now coming to the uses of this robertson cooked meat broth so this robertson cooked meat broth can be used as a transport media how can it act as a transport media so suppose if someone has got a road traffic accident and there has been a gas gangrene and we know that the gas gangrene is caused by some anaerobic organisms like clostridia so uh, if we transport that uh, uh, sample or the specimen uh, in open air that will lead to death of that uh, anaerobe because uh, the environmental oxygen will kill that anaerobe so we do not want to kill the space uh, organism which is present in that specimen if we want to detect so uh, we will put that specimen here in the meat particle so that the uh, the microorganism or the anaerobic obligate anaerobic organism will be able to grow here as there will be no oxygen in this part of the in this part of the robertson cooked meat broth okay so and when we reach to that uh, laboratory we can uh, take the specimen from this cooked meat broth and may culture it in all uh, in any uh, anaerobic culture media and thereby detect the microorganism so thereby it can act as the transport media for the specimen where the suspected microorganism is a obligate nao also it itself can act as the culture media for the obligate anaerobes we can directly culture the microorganism here only and from here we can identify the microorganism by different tests big different biochemical tests okay so this is how we can use the robertson cooked meat broth media this is all about the anaerobic culture media next we will talk about the different types of inoculation methods and then the identification methods of the different microorganisms